Okay, sitting here with the, the line, Rainer Liebenberg, ahead of potentially going to be your last fight, a world title fight. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of this one? I feel good. I feel confident. I did everything that I could do in the amount of time that they gave me, and I'm ready to roll. I said last fight, but you never know, right? Yeah, you never know. It's <laughs> boxing, but I'm treating it as my last fight. I'm ready to call it a day. I've had a good run. I had a good career. And yes, I feel that the time has come. Well, the time has come to talk about the opponent because you'll be getting in the ring with Fedor Chudinov. You must have done a little bit of research, and certainly Colin has. Uh, what do you think about him? Very, very strong fighter. Doesn't take a step backwards. 200 plus amateur wins. Only lost to Strum and Groves, which are some of the best fighters ever. Got a draw against Isaac Chalembe. A fight I think Isaac won. Mm -hmm. um, but he, uh, that's it. So world class beats world class people. No vara. And obviously, we look at the Isaac result, but again, two different styles you have. Yeah. I mean, the fight's going to be a completely different oh, fight. Oh, yes. You know, Isaac's a mover, good skill, shape in the ring. Um, I'm a fighter. I go forward and we're going to meet each other in the middle and bang each other. So it's two completely different people, two completely different fights. And I'm looking forward for it, but it's going to be tough. I'm guessing this is the type of fight you want though, like a guy that comes forward, you don't really want to move out. Yes, so, so this is exactly the type of person I want to fight. Somebody that's in front of me, we bang each other and see who wins. Instead of a guy that runs around all over the show, I can't get to him, makes you uncomfortable in the ring. No, this is what I want. We're talking about Carlos Gongora, the RBO champion, but when an opportunity like this comes up, I mean, was it, was it, was it, how hard was this decision? No, I, it was like in the blink of an eye, I said yes. You know, you only get, you can't say no to world title opportunities. Call it what you will, in drum, regular, gold, what, all the names, other than make the names. It yeah. is what it is. It is a world title. So you take a world, even if it's on a week notice, you take it. It's a world title. How are you going to feel about, you know, take the belt? Does, the, does this result depend on whether you fight again? Yes, most definitely. Look, if, if I win this fight and win a top world title, the money is... You can't say no to the right. amount of money that you're going to get. Uh, it's, it's a lot of money. It's so, but I first need to win this fight, but that's why I'm treating this fight as my last fight. I did everything in camp accordingly and that's it. I'm ready to go. When you look at the stage of your career and what you've been doing lately, do you feel that this is a, a, like a, a winnable fight for you, like a really winnable fight? Definitely it's a winnable fight, I do think so. It's, it's a guy that suits my style of fighting and he is beatable. He's definitely slowed down since he fought Groves and then. Look, he's still world class, he's gonna stop 10 in the world for many years now. It's not gonna be easy. It's the biggest fight of my career. This is it. It's an international, recognized world title on a foreign stage. You know, we are the main event. You can't really get much bigger than this. So, that's it. Going to Russia, fighting in Russia. I mean, yes. geez, South Africans in Russia, it's been a tough task. Uh, what, what do you think? Tabi Samchun has been uh, successful, but apart from that, it's been very difficult. Again, Tabi Samchun is on another level altogether than the guys he fights. Yeah, Russia's a bit of a scenery change to Germany. Yeah. I, I do think they treat the people the same there, so I know what I need to do. I need to go and knock this guy out, otherwise I won't get the decision, and that's my plan. Is there anything about going overseas? I mean, obviously, as we know, sometimes you get uh, quite a hard decision there. Is there anything about overseas beforehand that suggests that, you know, that this might be like difficult, like playing in the background? Like... No, I don't really care about stuff like that. I just want to roll. You know what people do, I can't change what other people do, I can only change what I, I do and I'm going to try to do what I have to do to get the win on this fight and that's all I can do. If they want to rob you, it is what it is. If he beats me, big up Steve. Um, like I said, I've got no regrets, I'm just there to fight. How many days are you going to spend in Russia? So we leave tomorrow and then we fight next week Friday, so seven days. And you happy with the, with, with the amount of time you're going to be spending? Yeah, oh, look, the rule of thumb is if you fly up, it's one week. If you fly over, it's two weeks. Right. It's more than, I've done this trip seven times already. So it's more than enough time. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go. 
What do you think they're thinking about you? I mean, they obviously, they prepared for you. Maybe they yeah. watched your last fight. They're like, okay, this is the guy and you did really well in your last result. What do you think they're thinking about you? Look, I think um, I think my, my record's misleading. A lot of the wins on my record are misleading. Like Fagan Boots, I lost it by TKO. But I blacksimed them all over this show. So I think that plays a part in my... that It, it makes my record look shit. And it isn't really. So... Yeah, well, I think that prepare is a world class fighter. He's gonna come to fight, and that's it. And for you now, do you get nervous before a fight? Ah, then you get nervous, but it's not like it bothers you anymore. I know what I need to do and how I need to do it, and I've prepared. As long as you prepare one hundred percent, then you've got no worries when you step into the ring, and that's it. I had good sparring for this fight. Mm -hmm. Rowan Campbell and Keaton Gomes helped me. The Smiths. Um, Kevin also gave me two rounds. It's not a lot, but they did, and they treated me well. So I had good, proper, hard sparring guys that want to block me, and we had we had a roar, and and I think that's going to help a lot. So what's the what's the? Because I was going to ask that next, and you you went into what's the vibe between you and Ron? Obviously, you guys just stepped out of the ring not too you know, long ago. Look, the, the results. What happened happened. Um, I beat Ron. It is what it is. There's no hard feelings. There's no animosity between us. Um, I like him, he's a good guy, I, I've always had respect for all of those people, so yeah, it is what it is, and we treat it like that. Um, luckily, they, they've opened their gym for me, they've really helped me, and it's helped me a lot. How did that all come about? Uh, I, I asked them straight up, listen, yeah, I've got a world title fight coming up, will you be willing to help me? Peter didn't hesitate, he said, once come through, we spoil you, I've got people that's willing to help you, and that's it. And do you feel now, I mean, with all the sparring, I know it is a short camp, yes. but do you, would, are you 100% like fully yeah, focused on this one? Like I had more than enough 12 round sessions, so I know my fitness is there. It's just to own everything and pull everything in. But, but I feel ready, yes. I had a rest day yesterday, took a day off, just relaxed with my family, and now it's time to go. I want to ask this question, right? Because it's a short camp, but you've just come out of a fight, does that help? Maybe yes. like w if it is a shorter camp. It definitely helps because you don't have to do the base endurance training to get fit. Within a week you are fit. It's just, uh, my sparring was straight up 12 rounds. I didn't do 10 or 8 or anything like that. Straight up 12 rounds, did the sparring, had the rule, and now, now it's time to fight. And for the South African uh, spectators, uh, do you have any message uh, for them? Enjoy the fight, it might be my last fight, so support, I've, I've had tremendous support going into this fight, I've had so many people approach me for sponsorship, I just want to mention a few of them um, that's come on board for sponsorship, Empire Cable, they're actually joining me with to Russia, amazing people, Universal Paints, they've been there from the beginning till the end, so oh, what more can I say, Secutel Technologies, it's like my second family, those people. They've really opened their hearts to me. Stadfontein Poultry Brothers Chicken, they've come on board before this fight with their own fight and they've supported me immensely. Um, Petrocon, Willem, oh, it's just people that's good people that are willing to open their wallets and open their hearts for a good fight. And I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. Thank you. And then, I don't know, I mean, if I don't know if Chinov can speak English or not, uh, but would you have a message for him? Bro, there's a burki coming for you. Uh, there's, there's no message. I just want to bang him in the teeth and hopefully get the win. But that's it. You're going out there to enjoy yourself? I'm going out there to win. I, I very rarely enjoy myself overseas. Oh. The fights are way too hard. It's, uh, on the international stage, really, it's hard. It's not local. It's very hard. And... Oh, hopefully the best man wins. Right, and uh, and the new. And the new, yes, the new. Thank you very much, Adam. Yeah.